All right, ah. you're living your life. <laughs> you know, bro, maybe you should try some boxes instead of the briefs. You get a lot more room up in there. <laughs> Could we move on? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. Um, so you seem to think there was something irregular about the procedure that leads you to suspect that little Jimmy is not your son? He's extremely intelligent, mm -hmm. huge vocabulary, great sense of humor. Nothing at all like my husband. <laughs> Thanks, hon. You know, we also do divorces. <laughs> well, don't get the wrong idea, Mr. Sparks. We love each other very much, don't we? Well, of course we do. And we love our son. Mm -hmm. Although, he does have a little bit of the devil in him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to beating him. All right. Um, until we can get the results of the DNA testing back, uh, I don't think we have enough evidence to build a case to support the fact that little Jimmy is not your child. So, guess we don't have to pay the retainer. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, don't get too excited now. <laughs> uh, listen, a lack of evidence has never stopped me before. Now, if we can prove that that clinic used somebody else's sperm instead of yours, we got one hell of a lawsuit. Now, let's get a look at that little gold mine. Oh, oh excuse me, whoa, who said that? <laughs> I mean, that little guy of yours. Okay. <sighs> well, well, you must be little Jimmy. Mr. Sparks, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, James. I've been admiring the ambiance of your office decor. <laughs> Isn't he precious? Ambiance, eh? Shall we go, Mother? Father? <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll be in the oh. court here, okay. Thank you, honey. Ambient of your office decor. <laughs> oh, what a cute little kid. Now, where's that ugly stankin' Doris? Doris! Doris! I see you've been on one of your freaky dates again, huh? I know this is against my better judgment. <laughs> that little redhead demon they tied me up and pushed me in the closet. <laughs> Wait a minute, you telling me that that little kid that just left here tied you up? Yes. Okay, we are playing cowboys and Native Americans. <laughs> and things just got a little out of hand. Yeah, well, you ought to be a little more careful who you let tie you up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ain't you forgetting somebody? Oh, I'm sorry. I know that's right. I ain't one of your little girlfriends you just leave. You better recognize. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't got time for I don't get paid enough for you to be playing around. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Probably, uh, oh, the more uh, I surprised myself. I didn't know I still had it in me. So how was the date? And did you make Tyra jealous? Oh, man, it worked like gang buzzers. She was all bumming us on the dance floor. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me down, Willa. Yeah. Oh, Lamar, hope it all works out for you. <sighs> go, Wilma. Go, Wilma. Go, go, go. No, Wilma. No, Wilma. <laughs> I'll be in my office. Oh, man, who would have ever thought that uptown girl got some downtown moves? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why don't you move yourself into the conference room? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Lamar Hicks. Oh, you must be Tyra. Has he mentioned me? Nope. <laughs> What's up, Tyra? Tyra. You and me have to talk. Yeah, 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 we need to talk. No, Wait, you I... listen, I talk. Okay. Mm, I live for moments like this. <laughs> hey, who, who do you think you are dissing me in front of all my friends? You said we broke up. Well, we weren't there, but we are now. <laughs> oh, I should have known. I should have known. Who is this, the sleazy office tramp? Ooh. Pardon me? <laughs> I bet you've been with every man here. <gasps> mm, this is getting ugly. <laughs> Listen, 
If you want to be with this bag of bones, go ahead. Bag of bones? <laughs> Did I st 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 stutter? Oh, you jealous, are we? Uh, please, this ain't no candy factory and I ain't no all day sucker. It's time me and you get our scrap on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, young lady, can I help you? <laughs> Back off, Brian Gumble. <laughs> This person. This is Lamar's little friend. Well, now see here, Messi. You don't just burst into somebody's place of business and begin behaving like some hooligan. This doesn't concern you. It's between me and prom queen. Handle your business. for your diary, sister, because you might as well be talking to yourself. Lamar, we're through. A <sighs> plan seemed to be working. It seemed to be working. <laughs> Bag of bones? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Baker will be with you in a moment, Mr. Sparks. Thank you. And don't touch anything. <laughs> don't touch anything. <laughs> Mr. Sparks. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> and guess what I found out? Mr. Larson is not Jimmy's biological father. Really? Mm -hmm. How fascinating. Uh, and whom do you surmise is responsible for this miraculous conception? <laughs> Doctor, we both know who it is. The boy's a spitting image of you. And that's why I came here today. I came here to serve you a notice to produce all your files and your records. You're not the first attorney to request things like this. But you know, they all go away. Do you know why? Because eventually, clients back down. Because nobody wants to drag a kid into court. You could ruin a lot of lives that way. I'm only interested in ruining one doctor. <laughs> Lamar's ex-girlfriend, Tyra. She's a terror. I, I thought she didn't care about you, too. Oh, apparently, it didn't take. She followed me to the courthouse today. Thank God she didn't get past the metal detector. She's armed. She's pierced. <laughs> Why don't you just tell the truth? You, you, you don't want Lamar. Oh, I'm committed. I promised Lamar that I'd see this thing through until he won Tyra back. Oh, Wilma! Tyra's gonna be at the movies tonight. We gotta be there, 8 o'clock. What are we seeing? Beavis and Butthead. Can't do America. <laughs> I'll bring a law book. Uh, uh, you got some filing to do. Lamar. Tyra, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you in private. Doris. Huh. Can we talk in private? <laughs> Can we use the conference room? Mm-hmm, go ahead. But talk loud, the walls are thick. <laughs> so, what's up? Heard you been tailing my woman. I wanted to apologize. You what? To both of you. I don't know if you've noticed, but I can come off pretty strong when I'm angry. Nah. <laughs> I made a mistake. I miss you. And seeing you with another woman is driving me crazy. Then why did you break up with me? 
When I told you to get lost, I didn't expect you to get lost. I'm lost. I gave you a test. I wanted a man who would fight for his woman. And when you didn't, I didn't think you cared. I do care. It's just I'm not good at taking tests. If I give you a second chance, will you give me a second chance? Let me think about this. Yeah. <laughs> but what about old school? <laughs> oh, Wilma? Wilma? Oh, we not together no more? Nah, that was just something on the rebound. I'd much rather be with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boo. Uh-huh. It's called for a celebration. I'm talking dinner, you know, drive through. We can supersize it, hook it up. <laughs> Hey, what you doing here? You still after my man? Your man? My man. Wilma. No, 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 no. I got this pookie bear. <laughs> it's time that uh, Miss Thing came to terms with the fact that you and me are forever. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with that? You still throwing old school mad love? Mighty mad, mighty mad. <laughs> and Lamar and I are getting our groove on proper. <laughs> Something like that. So it's not over. Girl, please, you must be tripping talking about over. <laughs> Does that look like it's over? <laughs> Lamar, you fish-headed looking lion dog! I never want to see you again! Oh. oh, Lamar! We really got her going now! We just made up! What? Uh -oh. Sorry. Uh -oh. Sorry, Lamar. Uh -oh. Well, the story's not gonna cut it. Tyra's the girl I want. I mean, me and you, we had our laughs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's just not working out. Come on, let it go. We threw. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but unfortunately, your worst fears have come true. You raised your rates again? Uh, aside from that, Dr. Baker is little Jimmy's biological father. Oh, my God. I mean, we always suspected. No, it's OK, sweetheart. It doesn't matter. He's still our son. Why would he do this to us? Well, it's not just you. I mean, it's no coincidence that Dr. Baker's clinic has three times the success ratio of any other clinic. That's horrible. That's exactly right. But we can nail this guy, but I'd have to put little Jimmy on the stand to demonstrate his physical likeness. And parade him in front of the jury like some sideshow act? No, no, he can never know anything about this. Sorry, we're dropping the case. Wait, 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 wait a minute, guys, come on. Come on, what, what about your pain? What about your suffering? What about my 30%? <laughs> I'll tell you what, forget about the money. Forget about the money. I really want to nail this guy. No parents should have to go through the pain and hell you guys are going through. Only if you can do it without hurting our son. You got a deal. It's a very generous offer. Thank you. No problem. I want this guy. <laughs> Did I just say forget about the money? <laughs> straight, doctor. You run a sperm bank. In layman's terms, yes. Uh-huh. And at this bank, isn't it true that there's only one depositor and I'm looking right at him? Of course not. So after 10 years of trying, my client, Mrs. Lawson, gets pregnant after only one transaction at your clinic. Obviously, my technique is superior, Mr. Sparks. Your technique, doctor, is to throw out your patient's weak little sperm and put in your own pudgy little red-headed Olympic sperm. Hey, just get to the egg. Just get to the egg. Just get to the egg, huh, doctor? Objection. Mr. Sparks, get back to your table, or I'm going to hold you in contempt.
This is where it gets good. Council, approach the bench. I've just been informed there's a tour of school children here at the courthouse to observe a real trial in progress. Are there any objections? No objections. Mr. Sparks? No objections, Your Honor. Just one more question, Doctor. <clears throat> so you're telling me, if I went through your files, that I would not find hundreds of nearsighted, pudgy, little redhead children that look exactly like you? That's exactly what I'm saying. Get out your checkbook, doctor. Your bank is closed. <laughs>